Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, the Prophet ﷺ married many, many times. And of course, many of the companions of Rasulullah ﷺ married many women as well. And polygamy is part of a sunnah. However, what was well known is many of the companions and the Prophet ﷺ, for a portion and duration of their time, they only had one wife. The question really is this, what made these women so special that these companions and the Prophet ﷺ only had them as their wives only for that duration of time. What was it? In fact, it reminds me of the situation of Khadija anha and Fatima anha. Khadija and Fatima anha, may Allah have mercy upon them both, were women that perfected their Iman. Ali anhu did not marry any other women whilst he was married to Fatima. And Rasulullah did not take any other wives whilst he was married to Khadija anha. Why is that? Because if you look into the lives of these women, you will find exemplary characteristics that made them so special to their husbands. Two things in particular are things that I remember when I think about what made these women special. The first one is to do with Khadija anha, and the second one to do with Fatima anha. First with Khadija anha, what made her so special? What made her so special was the amazing trust, love and patience she had in Muhammad wasallam. Look at the situation of Rasulullah a man who was initially searching for purpose in his life. He would take his provisions and clothing and food and go off to the cave of Hira, sometimes weeks and months on end, searching for the purpose of his life. Then he came back confused and perplexed from the cave of Hira and said, cover me up, cover me up. And this woman, of course, was the beacon and call upon this man, Muhammad Wasallam. She said, no, Allah will never disgrace you. You look after the poor and the needy and the orphans. You feed your neighbors and you don't disgrace your enemies. Indeed, Allah will never ever disgrace you. So she was a beacon and call and support for the Prophet in, in, in his most important times. Fatima anha was also the same. It was well known that Fatima anha would be so righteous and pious that she would cooperate with Ali anhu and would make Ali anhu uh, love her because of her righteousness and, pi and piety. It was well known that Fatima anha would wake up Ali in the depths of the night to come up, wake up and, and, and let's pray. It was well known that Fatima anha was very charitable and giving. She would encourage Ali to go out there and, and earn money, but so that they could actually give money out to the poor. In fact, a verse in the Quran was actually revealed regarding her. What is the verse saying? They say, Verily, we feed you for the face, face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. We don't ask for you any reward or any recompense at all. So in these verses, we know that Fatima of the Alana used to love to give money out. So this is what made Ali love her. What made Ali love her was that Fatima was increasing their rewards in Jannah. Was that Fatima of the Alana with her righteousness and piety was going to get a higher level in Jannah. And as a result, Ali of the Alana would also get that level because of the promise of Allah that indeed the husband and the wife will be together in Jannah, inshallah. antum wa tuhbarun. Enter you and your husbands and your wives together in Jannah at the same level. It is for this reason why the scholars of Islam used to say, marry righteous women. For indeed, whichever level your husband or your wife reaches will be the final level that the other one gets as well. So you should also help your husband and wife also to reach the higher level. For indeed, if you do that, inshallah, your level will be the highest level that either one of you is able to reach. And be idnillah. With that, you will also complete the love in your hearts. And inshallah, may that love be enough for you all. Be idnillah, just like it was uh, between Rasulullah Sallallahu Khadija and Fatima and Ali radiyallahu anhu. Zakum khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.